I've done a few videos recently where people have been saying to me what's that charting bit there that you have and people have identified it as the micro charts but they haven't identified how I've managed to uh, create it so this is a quick video to show you how I did that I mean basically on the one click in the manual bit screen um, it's called one click in manual bit but but both these screens are user definable you can just create whatever you like on them and the way to do that is to bring up the headers a lot of people have the headers on automatically but I switch them off so it has more screen space but if you want to show the headers you can show the headers or you can hide them <clears throat> but for redesigning what we need to do is, is show the headers now each of these columns across here you can move around and, and do whatever you like so if I wanted lay before back I could do it that way around or I could do back before lay or I could move or do anything like that but also you can get rid of elements of it this little box up here is the column chooser and that basically tells you uh, what um, you have available uh, as far as columns are concerned and you can see actually we've put in there a whole range of different things but we've also put in custom columns because obviously um, we'd like you to design your own columns as well and the custom columns allow you to create buttons that do specific things like backing at a certain price, offsetting by a certain price and using certain stakes and doing certain things so explore those, we use a separate video to explain all of that information but basically these are all of the columns that you have available and you can either go in there and untick some of these options or you can actually uh, edit this main screen from here but if you click custom columns you can either untick from there or what you do is just actually remove and drag and drop columns out of the way so what I'm going to do here is drag and drop um, a whole range of columns here but the one that I'm going to leave behind is the microchart now ideally we'd want to know which microchart applies to which selection so if I drag PNL out of the way and move the name down um, do we want silks on it? well let's leave silks in there for the moment and what you can see is I'm actually left with just the silks, the name of the horse and the micro chart so if I switch the header uh, back I can actually undock this now and we have a little box with loads of little micro charts um, in them and if I pin that to the top now I can actually go to the uh, one click screen let's bring that back up again I didn't actually uh, I shrank it, I didn't pin it on top um, or I can go onto the ladder and what this will actually do is um, allow me to have a little window in or around um, keeping uh, information on a specific market and what we can actually do uh, with this screen as well if I put it back onto the manual bet area is if we can actually save this so if I save this as a particular name I can call this just micro charts and uh, that becomes available for selection in this drop down box here you can see I've got a couple of other different things on here as well I've got unsorted and sorted micro charts and then when you want to use that uh, on any of the other screens what you can actually do is go to the manual bet tab click on the undock area here and then actually pin that somewhere else so you can carry on working on your main screen and have these little micro charts nearby on a different screen however you want to do it and this would also free up space on the screen in which you're using so for example on the one click screen here what I could actually do is um, unselect the micro charts from the column chooser or just drag and drop that out of the way and give myself more more space to display more information but that's how you create a little box full of uh, additional information and you can actually put that on top and use that on your existing trading screen or to supplement something else that you're doing